so this is me recording an intro to this video but forgetting to turn the microphone on <laughs> story of my life but anywho welcome to my channel wonderfully made thank you so much for stopping by my channel um i recently purchased a few newly released items from mac so i decided to record this demo slash tutorial showing you guys how i use them and just giving you my thoughts about these new products now here's the look i came up with if you would like to see how I achieved this look, then please stay tuned. So I'm starting this look off with my brows already done and my face and eyelids have already been primed. So I'm just getting straight to the eyeshadow look. And of course I am featuring the newly released um, Pro Long Wear Waterproof Color Sticks, which basically is jumbo eyeshadow sticks. So I purchased three of them. There are 21 shades total, I believe. I only purchased three and I use all of them for this look. However, I started the look off with two of my favorite transitional shades. Um, and it is Max Saddle and Brown Script. So here you see me using saddle and I'm just using windshield wiper motions to um, sweep it all across my eyelids right underneath my brow bone area. And now I'm going to go in with brown script using my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to sweep that right in the crease area or should I say where I would have a crease if I didn't have hooded eyelid. So the first color that I am using is called Tea Leaves and it's described as a mid-tone dirty mauve. This color is so pretty on the lid. And one of the claims for these eyeshadow sticks is that they provide full coverage in one sweep. And I kind of agree with that. Now, even though I went in quite heavily with the eyeshadow stick, when I put that initial swipe on there, I mean, there was pretty good pigmentation and color, um, and I really liked it a lot. Now, you see that I also used, um, I think it was the MAC 242 brush, because this product, let me warn you, it dries very, very quickly so you will definitely have to use a synthetic bristled um, brush for these eyeshadow sticks um, so I ended up I think using my fingers <laughs> pretty soon but I tried to use this little brush for the out of V area and it was just not working <laughs> so I had to use my finger and the second color that I went in with in that out of V area is called Midnight Shadows and it's it's described as a um, deep plum color and I fell in love with that color as soon as I saw it because of course I love purple but it's also deep enough to where it almost looks black and it would be great for a smoky eyed look but you don't want to use the traditional black this would be great to create a very deep deep purple smoky eye so anyway you see me going in again with my fingers to just kind of blend it out because again the texture is very creamy, but it dries really, really fast. So using a brush, in my opinion, just 
wasn't <laughs> working as well as I wanted to so I decided to just go in with my fingers and I absolutely loved how the look came out. So now I'm just repeating those same steps on the other eye. So the final prolong wear um, waterproof color stick that I purchased is in the shade Sandbar and it's described as a soft camel nude shade and I gotta say I absolutely love this color as a brow bone highlight. It is perfect. I really really love it. Um, also I forgot to mention that Midnight Shadows, which is the color that I used in my outer V area, as well as this um, color, Sandbar, these two shadow sticks have the matte finish, and the one that I used on my eyelid, Tea Leaves, that one has what is described as a sparkling frost finish, but I love both finishes. I really, really like these eyeshadow sticks. So next I have a demo of how I use the MAC 266 brush which is an angled eyeliner brush. Now this is not new to MAC but it is new to me and I saw somebody use this on YouTube and I can't ever, I'm going to have to start keeping up with the YouTubers that I get these great tips from um, but somebody recommended this brush as being really really great for creating a winged eyeliner and let me tell you I was like where has this brush been all of my life because I have never been able to create a winged eyeliner 
this good and you can see on my face that I am like shocked at how well I am doing so anyway if you have problems creating a winged eyeliner I recommend 100% that you purchase the MAC 266 brush So here's the completed winged eyeliner look and I gotta say I was thoroughly impressed with myself okay I probably went on a little bit heavy but I was loving it okay I was loving it um, I think that this brush is really going to help me perfect my winged eyeliner so yeah I was feeling the winged eyeliner so much that I decided to add false lashes <laughs> which is not something I normally do but anyway I went on and did my foundation and so now I'm using the next newly released product that I purchased from MAC which is called the all the right angles contour palette um, and I purchased it in the shade deep so I'm using that highlight shade or it's almost like a banana powder, but it has more of a peachy tone to it than a yellowy tone. Um, so I used that to set all of the areas that I used concealer. So here you're going to see me use the shade Midnight Shadows just to smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. So also new to MAC is this dual fiber angled brush and it is the MAC 164. Um, so I'm using this to contour a little bit. I'm using that contour shade in the contour palette. And I gotta say, I didn't care for this brush. Well, I like the brush, but I didn't like it to contour. So later on, you will see that I ended up using a different brush, but um, I did end up using this brush for the cream highlighter that's in this contour palette. And I loved it for the cream highlighter. I loved it for the powder highlight because I ended up topping that cream highlighter with um, gold deposit by mac and so i love this brush for highlighting but i did not care for it at all um, to contour so i did clean the brush off and now i'm just using it to um, place that cream highlighter 
on the high points of my cheek as well as the center of my nose and right on my cupid's bow now the cream highlighter i wasn't too sure how it was going to work on my skin tone and i'm not used to using cream highlighter so i was being um i was going in very sparingly with it um, as I play around with it a bit more, I'm probably going to become more comfortable using it. But for now, I was a bit skeptical about using a cream highlighter. But I loved it as a base for the powder highlight that I went in with. Um, and I think I'm going to like it. I just... I wasn't sure exactly how to use it and I wasn't sure that if I went in too heavily with the cream highlighter I didn't know if it was going to move my foundation around so I was a little bit scared to use it but here you see that I am using it to um, highlight my tear duct area for my eyeshadow look. So now you see me going in with a little bit more of the contour shade, but this time I'm using a fluffier angled um, brush. Um, I don't know, that dual fiber contour brush, it just was not blending that powder contour shade out like I liked it. So I used a different brush, but I do like that contour shade. I really do like it so now I'm just finishing my look off with some blush and lipstick So this is the complete look and I have to say that I absolutely love all of the products and those eyeshadow sticks are awesome. I created this look about 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm telling you at 1030 at night my eyeshadows were still in place. So yeah, this is it. I really like it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God and He loves you. See you in the next video.